It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. They make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to corners, and fight. Despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponents in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Big punch landed on the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Throws the right hand there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big body kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. Left right combo is good. Got the single collar tie. Look at the turtle in that kick. Able to check the high kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. Look at him whip his hip for that kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 
Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range. He is finding the target in everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Real nice body to play. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice straight punch. Nice leg kick. And they separate. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. And there comes the separation now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. How about that chin? Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. What a tricky head kick. Came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch land over the top. Lands with the right hand. Big leg kick land. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop going. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse no, no, kick, no, no, but just misses. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Deep breath. Relax. Take the water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Try to establish that jab. Nice. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to work the body here. Oh, collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Out of range with that one. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just misses with the left hook. Circling to his right. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked effect. <laughs> oh, the master of the transition, nice strike. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses no setup whatsoever there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Body right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Over and over, he's landing big body kicks. Good stick. 
Just over three minutes to go in round two. He blocks the punch. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice kick. Nice one, two there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now connects with a right. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. There's the kick, it's blocked. Nice loop of punch. Oh, single collar tie here. That's a good knee to the body. Nice combination of strikes to the body. He really has made it a point to attack that part of his opponent so far, so well. Not going to knock out early. Understand that the longer this fight goes, the body strikes will become even more important. Look at him chopping the wood. Chops the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Beautiful punch. Jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Ooh, Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Just missed with that right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful kick. Goes to the body there. Beautiful body kick. Ten right. minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Punch over the top. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Big head kick lands. I mean, he's cut down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, diving punch lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, 
right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Just misses there with the left. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You could never be a stationary target, but even with the feet on you got to be ready to slip the head at a moment's note. Lands the right hand. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that just boxing with this shot. He's never looked this good. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Out of range with that kick attempt. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. Previous Ready. round, not necessarily Ready. a tough act to follow. Pretty good round. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighting that so evenly match. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Right hand punch from the clinch. Landed that one. And now his top as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the takedown. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile, and they can do these takedowns in so many ways. You saw it in a full display right there with that trip.
All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and gets back up. Big body kick. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like a man. There was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. And here we go inside the Ladies octagon for the official Dan decision. Dan so first off to this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by the All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.